This is a how-to video for the Daikin Air to Water heat pump. In this video, we will explain how the heat pump works and its features. The Air to Water heat pump provides heating and hot water round the clock for your home. It is more efficient than traditional gas or oil boilers. It emits less CO2 and when paired with bill pay electricity, rather than a pay-as-you-go meter, it can generate considerable savings. The top of the unit in your home stores pipework and electrical connections. The bottom part is where hot water is stored. On the top part, there is a control panel with a screen. The unit will go into standby mode if it hasn't been touched, but it'll still be working. To bring the screen on, press any button. This screen shows the outdoor temperature, which is currently 17 degrees. It displays the heat of the hot water circulating in the radiators, which is currently at 45 degrees. This is not how warm your home will be. At the top of your screen is your tank temperature, which is currently at 47. This is the temperature of your hot water. When in operation, there will be a sun symbol visible to indicate that the system is heating up. This disappears once the system is at the fixed temperature. If a fall code appears on the home screen, which is usually a letter followed by a number, contact your housing officer or the CHI office. Do not attempt to deal with the issue yourself. To see previous fault codes, press the wheel, scroll down and click information. Click malfunction history. This is where past fault codes will appear. It is not recommended that you change any of these settings. However, if you want to increase the tank temperature to have more hot water, go into the menu, press once and scroll to tank. Here you can see the temperature the tank is currently set to. Use the right hand wheel to increase it. Only increase it a couple of degrees at a time as any higher will increase your running costs. Most heat pumps are set at 48 degrees and it is recommended you stay at that. Hot water in the tank is automatically disinfected once a week. There is no need to touch the pipework above the unit. It is solely for servicing and repair purposes. The two yellow boxes are motorised valves which control the two heating zones upstairs and downstairs. These correspond with the wall thermostats found upstairs and downstairs. If they have an orange light like the one on the right, it means they're adjusting to bring the radiators to the temperature set on the wall thermostat. The small silver tank is an expansion vessel to take the expansion of water for the heat pump when it heats up. Do not touch this. The heat pump switch is usually located close by the unit and must be left on at all times. Switching the heat pump on and off means you will have no heating or hot water. It will not work as efficiently and will cost more to run. This is your room thermostat which can be used to control the level of heat. To adjust the temperature, use the up and down arrows and press the tick when you've chosen the desired temperature. At the moment, there is a flame symbol which indicates the system is heating up to the temperature displayed. This will disappear when it has reached the temperature. When the flame symbol is showing on the thermostat, it also means that the motorised valve above the heat pump is open. This means that the heating zone, whether upstairs or downstairs, is adjusting to heat up to the desired temperature. Once the thermostat detects that the room has reached the temperature, the motorised valve will close and the orange light will turn off. The flame symbol will also disappear. The thermostat will continue to regulate temperature in this way. It is most economical to try and maintain a standard room temperature of 18 to 20 degrees for long periods of time rather than increasing and decreasing the temperature frequently. This is your thermostatic radiator valve. You'll find these on all the radiators, except for those that have wall thermostats. All have settings from zero to five. Radiator valves can be used to regulate temperatures in other rooms in the heating zone. As it is a low temperature system, it is recommended that you leave it open on five, but you can decrease it if absolutely necessary. The heat pump itself is located outside the home. It functions by taking the air outside, filtering it, and extracting the heat to use in your home. Any issue with the heat pump will show up indoors on the control panel. Do not obstruct the heat pump. Keep pets and children away from it. If the heat pump is covered, it will affect the performance, cost more to run, and damage internal components. This is a power switch for the outdoor unit. It needs to be on at all times. 
If it is turned off, you will not have heat in your hot water. The power switch should only ever be turned off by a licensed contractor or installer for maintenance and work purposes. To recap, the air to water heat pump is an energy saving, cost reducing system. All settings are fixed upon installation. It is recommended that you leave the heat pump on at all times and do not adjust the temperature. If a fault code appears on your tank unit, which is usually a letter followed by a number, do not attempt to fix this yourself and instead call your housing officer or the CHI office.